The people that I've met in college really helped me transition from the online to in-person learning. I've made lots of my friends early on in college when the campuses reopened and I've had classes with them since the beginning so I think having a strong support system and friends by your side really helps you when your days are tough especially the stress from school and finals coming along and everything like that. I was a, about two years old when I came from Albania. I came with my older sister and my parents. At home, we still have our own cultural traditional practices. So even though I was born outside of the US and came here when I was little, so not much of a culture shock, I still feel that I was different from my peers because of the differences in, in my culture and the language barrier as well. I was actually enrolled in ESL when I was in elementary school. <laughs> Growing up, I've, I've wanted to be a doctor since I was little. Um, my mom is a medical assistant, so I got exposed to the medical field through her. But I've enjoyed both the scientific field, but also the medical field. I volunteered at my local internal medicine physician's office, and we saw a lot of immigrants and underserved communities and I got to speak with a lot of Albanian patients as well so I would interpret for them for the doctor. I chose City College specifically because of the strong science field that we have and having this lab in the CDI, the Center for Discovery and Innovation, on our campus made it a lot easier to get involved in research which is something I was very interested in. Most of my friends that I've made, I've made from my science classes because as a biology major, we sort of take the same classes. But I've also taken non-science classes. I've taken ceramics and a couple of elective classes that I've also made friends in. I was interested in Dr. Emerson's research on the chick retinas. And so I reached out to him through his email and asked if he would be willing to take another undergrad in his lab. And also my TA at the time in Bio 102, her name is Denise, she, she's in the PhD program here at, in the Emerson Labs and she recommended the lab as well. So when I come into the lab, I will speak with Angelina who I work with. She's one of our grad students in the lab. And because my project relates to what she's working on and she's my mentor, so we'll discuss what the plan is for the day and then I'll come into the lab space and get some experiments set up and then usually there's a lot of downtime waiting for the experiments to run so I'll work on my desk on the laptop analyzing the previous experiment that we worked on trying to get the data in and analyzing it as well. When I entered college I wanted to make sure I was doing this at this time and doing this at this time but looking back I would just tell myself that everything will work out in the end I mean it's easy to say that now standing on this side but at 18 years old I wanted I, I felt like I had everything planned out but not everything goes as planned and there are a lot of my best memories or my spontaneous memories that happen just because of the day that it was or because the experience just came out that day I want to mention my my parents and my siblings, my my sister and my brother Arinda Narti. They have been very supportive of me and specifically for my parents, I've seen the sacrifices that they've made to just have us here in, in New York City and I think that they're very supportive of me and of my goals and having their support just means everything to me.